Kudro on the beat! I'm coming at you today with a gear review on the orange 2x12 cab versus a Harley Benton 2x12 cab. Both of them are fully loaded with Celestian Vintage 30s. Both of them are rated for 120 watts. The Harley Benton is switchable between 8 ohms and 16 ohms. The orange cab is not. It is fixed at 16 ohms. We are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two today. We're going to have them both set to 16 ohms. We have the volume set exactly the same on both cabs, so there are no variation. I'm going to put it at the edge of the cone where the middle meets the outside. So I'm going to have them both there in the sweet spot. Unfortunately, I don't have an SM57 at the moment, so I'm going to roll with an SM7B. I'm going to be playing through a Line 6 VETA 2 HD head. Freaking love Line 6 stuff. The higher end Line 6 stuff is amazing. You have everything built in. It's pretty much an HD 500 in a head form. It's like 350 watts. You have your tube screamer, your noise gate, your all your effects, your reverbs, delays, your burger, dirk, and dirk, as phaser, flander, dirk. You have, all, you have everything built in to this head. And you only have to run one cable to your pedal, and that is a Cat 5 cable. That's it. There's no power cable for the longboard that I have, and it's beautiful. This amp rocks. I don't know why they stopped making it. You can find one used for about, you know, three to four, five hundred dollars, depending on who you're dealing with. I'm going to be playing through my Fender Contemporary Jazz Master with the Mick Thompson pickups. I've done a review on this guitar as well. If you would like to go check out the review, click... The Harley Benton cab goes for about $250. It comes from Germany. It took me about a month and a half, two months, or something like that, to get it. Uh, because there are there is such a heavy backlog for it right now. The Celestian Vintage 30s normally will run you about 150 bucks just for the speakers. So you got two speakers. Nor normally that's going to cost you 300 bucks for the pair. But you get them inside of a cab... For two fifty, ridiculous. I think it was under two fifty. It was like two thirty something. The thing will stack up against a drum set if you're trying to pl practice or play live shows with it. Way better than hauling around a four by twelve cab where you have to have an SUV, pickup truck, or something big to carry one of those four by twelve cabs. Two by twelve, you put it in your car, put your head, you put your guitar, and you're ready to go. That's easy as that. But a buddy of mine was selling this orange cab right after I bought the Harley Benton cab for the low, so. Had to get it off my man, James. The orange cab runs for about $750. Brand new. So, is it worth $500 difference to get essentially the same exact speakers? The orange cab is quite a bit heavier. It's a bit thicker. It's a bigger cab. So, you're going to maybe get some better bass response out of it. Some lower mids. And uh, you tell me. If it justifies the $500 difference. Okay, let's start this shit up right now.
Alright, what do you guys think? Is the $500 difference even worth it? The Orange Cab is better built. The Harley Benton's lighter. I think it's going to be easier to carry around. Especially if you're on a budget. $250 bucks for something loaded with Celestian Vintage 30s. Especially if you play hard rock or heavy metal. This is going to be the cab that you need to get right now. Just go to the Toneman website. Get yourself a Harley Benton. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. I love buying gear, testing it out. I've got a lot of guitar reviews coming up. A few amp reviews. I've got an Axe Effects. I'm going to try to mess with all kinds of stuff on. Please subscribe. Like this video. It's hard to find time to make these videos, but I do enjoy making them, and I want to bring more to you guys. Hojo on the beat.